Hey designers, welcome back to my online store build series. I'm taking you through the full process of creating my new online store using Workflow e-commerce and we are nearly at the end. This is the last video in the series. So if you've missed all the rest, you have missed out on a lot and I would advise you to go check out the rest of the videos in a playlist linked on a card up there and also in the description. In this video, we are putting the final touches onto my store. I'm gonna be setting up the emails that'll be sent out to customers when they place an order. I'm gonna run through the checklist, make sure that I've covered everything, that all of the details that need to be filled out have been filled out and that I'm ready to go live. So let's dive in and start with the emails. So let's take a look here at this checklist. There's lots of green ticks, which is good. There's not a lot left for me to do. The main thing is designing my e-commerce emails. So let's click this and go to the email settings. Okay, so basically there's a bunch of different emails that I need to lay out. Some of them are what I will receive when a customer places an order like this one here that you can see. Um, some go to the customer. Basically, I just need to make sure that all of the content is saying what I want it to and that all the colors match my design, things like that. I definitely want to add my logo to this email, that's for sure. I think that'll make it look a lot more professional. And as well as the logo and the color, I can also customize um, a lot of the text within these email templates. So let's go through and make sure they're all saying what I want, like sounding like they're coming from me, essentially. This first email is one that I will receive as the merchant when a new order comes through. So it's gonna be especially important to make sure that uh, all the, the copy and things is right on this email. If you're building a store for a client, they've got to understand when they need to fill an order, you know, but since this one's just coming through to me, I'm gonna say like, well done you. <laughs> Who doesn't love a bit of like self-praise, you know? <laughs> then this next email is the one that my customers will be sent when an order is placed. I've done the copy for the email the customer will get when an order is shipped and also when an order is refunded if they request a refund and I'm just gonna quickly send myself a test email just to be sure that they're coming through how I want here we go this is what my email is looking like so it looks like that's all good to go let's revisit this checklist it looks like we're almost ready to go I just need to enable the checkout one thing that I have done that I'll just show you is uh, upgraded my hosting plan so you need a different hosting plan to a regular website to be able to use e-commerce. So I've just gone for the standard one here. So that's just a thing to note is that if you are hosting a website on Workflow already, you're gonna to need to change your hosting plan in order to be able to use e-commerce. And it'll tell you that in the checklist if that's something that you need to change. So all I need to do is enable my checkout and my store will be ready to go. Super exciting. Then just like publishing any other changes to a Webflow site, publishing a store is the same. I'm going to go publish to selected domains and that'll send my store live to the world. So let's take a look at my store. This is live on my site. I've got these hover states on my images here on this homepage and they scroll. Um, if I come over to a category here, like you saw, this is my category organization. And if I click into an item, this has got the colorful background that changes depending on the category of the print. And then I've got my little Im image switcher here. And because I literally just published it just this second, I don't have any orders yet, but I wanna show you where they'll come in once I do. Um, it'll be here in this editor version of the page. There'll be a list of the orders that I have and I'll be able to fulfill them and send off prints to the new owners. Then one more thing I wanna show you to do with e-commerce, if we come over here into the settings, look at this integrations tab that I don't think I've gone through yet. So you can set up to sync your inventory, like all of your products with Facebook to run Facebook and Instagram ads, um, with Google as well to run like retargeting ads. 
that's a really good way to drive sales to an online store. I don't know if it's something that I'm going to experiment with, but I don't know. I mean, if it's this easy, then I might as well give it a try. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that that's an option and that's the thing that you can do or that your clients can do if you're setting up a store for someone else. And that, my friends, is it. That's my online store. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this whole build process. I know it was a lot of detail that I went into. Um, I appreciate you watching. I hope you got some value out of it. I hope you maybe got some inspiration for creating your own online store or online store designs, or if you just found it interesting to see how I built this out, you know. If you're feeling inspired by this and you wanna make your own online store, then you should check out Webflow at the link here on screen right now or link down below in the description and just get playing with it, get building. There is still a lot more that I need to add to my website. Like right now it doesn't even have a portfolio section. So that'll be the next section that I tackle and I'll be recording the whole process of that. So if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you'd be interested in seeing that, then make sure you subscribe and hopefully I will see you when that series of videos comes around. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.